mornings absolutely suck, boss. Before we start the review on the Rev9 coilovers, I do want to go and make sure that I cannot adjust the camber anymore because if I can't adjust the camber, we're going to need to go and get some camber plates for that JDM look to the car. After we wrap it, I want to have that. I did plan on making another vlog today, but I figured anybody looking up a review of these coilovers isn't going to want to see a full vlog like normal. The Rev9 Hyperstreet 2 coilovers are actually available for a ton of different cars, not just the BRZ, FRS, and the GT86, but the review is obviously going to be for those cars since that is what I own. You can adjust the camber, which I actually have to the furthest negative offset that you can adjust. So the camber plates that we mentioned at the start will be for another video and all of the recordings that you have seen on my car since we installed these coilovers have been set to that negative offset. You can adjust the dampening, adjust the ride height, spring tightness, and all of that. The only issue with them is one out of the four coilovers on the left front had a bracket that was mounted incorrectly, but it doesn't cause any issues. It was just not mounted properly to connect the front sway bar link, which is adjustable in itself. So there's no issues connecting it. This is actually something that my mechanic noticed. So from a consumer side of things, man, these coilovers are extremely comfortable for only being 500 bucks. I did not adjust like how tight the coilovers actually are. So having the coilovers just arrive to me and be this comfortable, that's something, you know, you know what I mean? That's something to know. And keep in mind, I'm very new to the car scene. I'm not an auto mechanic or anything. So we're up at Daniel's 123 Auto Repair, correct? 223. Two, well, I was almost correct. You, you so, like guns, don't you? Everybody that likes guns remembers that. It's AR rounds. Right on. 223, you can't forget it. So it's that's... Right there. 223. It's, it's on his that. Jeep too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You yeah, yeah, have the Allen wrench. It's just I was going to go up to my dad's because yeah. he has a jack. Sure. This and thing, I checked. This thing, the bolt that I'm talking about is actually at the bottom of your strut that goes through the knuckle. And there's two of them. And that's basically what holds the bottom of that piece to where your tire bolts to. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that adjustment can be made. But really the best way to do it is to have it on an alignment machine so that this thing is sitting on plates. I mean, these are these actually are, are a pretty decent strut. What you have, especially for the money that you yeah, five hundred I mean, bucks. Yeah. I mean, what now? What exactly do those do? The that's a damper. Soft. So like at tightens. Um, it changes the the dampening of, of the str the strut body itself. Oh, um, like the, how the, how hard the ride is. Yeah, or how quickly it rebounds and things like that. Oh. You know. Yeah, because everyone that's fast, ridden in my how car, fast it can compress and it'll slow it down coming back up. If you didn't have the gas or the oil inside of that mm -hmm. uh, that body, uh, and you were just relying on the spring, the car would bounce because that's what springs do. They're they're bouncy. The reason that it has all the the rest of the components is to slow down that rate of what it returns, and that's what you can adjust and make that stiffer. Or actually, it's actually the rate at which it goes down, I believe. Yeah, I mean, everyone that's ridden in it, it says it's like they're surprised how comfortable it is yeah. for how low it is. Like you drove it, it, it doesn't. I mean, like every car that I've driven in that's as low as mine, it feels like fucking shit, you know. So for five hundred bucks, it feels pretty good to me. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know. It's definitely, uh, you know, there are definitely higher quality ones out there, and some right. where you get more factory support. You know, I'm a, uh, you know, I'm an ISC guy. We're gonna be doing an install of that stuff on my, my stuff. That's what I plan on getting pretty soon, boys. The there's like these cups that you can put over, like they have a coil over set where it's like cups. That way I can slam my car, but I can also still have you know the ability to get over like speed bumps and shit yeah, and according you. to daniel i can actually drive on those but for now we just have a cheap pair you know what i mean just to get that look to it and i already got i did get the uh wrap you did nice. yeah you did. i did close this thing down so okay I get her in there. okay all right boss well but yeah, man, the coilovers will be linked down in the description below. All of my car accessories, my vlogging setup, and all of that sort of stuff is linked in every single one of my videos. I thought that it would be a nice touch to have Daniel, my auto mechanic, actually give his opinion on them. That way it's just not me, a car noob, telling you guys that they're good. You know what I mean? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Remember to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.